my understanding is that the will of the court was to go back to the hospital authority uh, type arrangement so there would be more public oversight. Uh, if you're going to have to subsidize it anyway, then you want the public oversight. Well, and, yeah, I, I don't think there's any question that ain't that. I, here's one of the things that keeps hanging on me is, is it, and I, and I know that every, every instance where something like this happens, there is probably a myriad of different ways you can go as far as the agreement. But on the uh, audit, for instance, is it, are we looking at eventually two audits because the, kind of the authority may feel like it's more incumbent upon them to do their own audit as they begin startup here that's completely within their control uh, as, a, as opposed to accepting one from the foundation, which they can, I mean, they'll be able to verify. Uh, that's the that's the question that's bounced around. Well, well, the authority contracts to do it. The authority prepaid. Well, that's <laughs> true. But let's talk. Let's be honest here. It, it's money out of this pocket. It's right. money out of this pocket. All of the money out of the transit, out of the foundation, and all of the debts are going over to the authority, no matter. Exactly. But for Medicare to get a check from from the, from the authority to cover a foundation bill, it's probably going to be a problem. They're going to kick it back. And that's what the holdback as far as for these accounts that a check coming from the authority would probably cause the issue. Okay. That's where the, otherwise we just transfer it all over and it's over. But they know there's going to be some obligations. I believe this is correct that the, that the foundation has obligated for but would transit over to the authority but it's just going to be a problem for the authority to write a check. Well, it, it, the reality is that, like, on your issue about audit, it may be that the authority and the foundation, after, you know, they get into the actual process, may decide to do a joint audit or do something uh, different. Or, or the authority may say, well, why don't, you know, why, why don't we just do an audit and you, you can use this? Or, I don't know. but. That's something I think is more detail oriented than uh, than what we're trying to do today. I understand your question, but that's probably something for these smart guys that are number crunchers to get into than rather than me, because I'm I'm not a number cruncher. I'm a worst. And I'm not I'm not saying what you presented us isn't the right document. I just want to be sure that we all understand this really has to be a cooperative effort here. There's no sense in spending money twice for the same product. And uh, I, I just had in my mind at one point in discussions that we talked with about this that, that the, once the authority came into place that they were going to be taken to that kind of stuff. I see how it may be helpful to do it the other way and I certainly understand back perspective of costs and winding down the foundations. The hospital authority as a government entity, uh, although it doesn't have taxing power, it is still a body politic government entity. It will have to have an annual audit just like the U.S. Right. did. Uh, no, and, and that will probably be something that the county and hospital authority want to work out to have the same auditor so they get the best deal. That's, that's where that's how it is in most places that you're all your kind of tangential entities that are involved with the county and you all just go together and get the same order because otherwise you're not kind of paying a premium for the same work. Was that kind of if, if I understood you that I, I you're talking about that uh, as the So the house probably doing all they can end up. You know, they do what they end up. They can actually do one to take over. That's kind of what you're talking about. Actually, the audit that's going on right now is for through September of 2009. There won't be an audit in effect. 
Tech right now for October and February, except and whether unless unless the Fourier or the county requires it, it probably that probably wouldn't be worthwhile. And what we probably do is have the authorities audit reach back and uh, to the for the full year. For the full year. That, that's what I, that that would accomplish what I would do. And of course, the authority the authority <laughs> has the authority. Authority has the authority to uh, have another audit done for what Paris Community Finance is doing now, if they wanted to. But you know whether there would be any benefit to it is questionable. 